We started out with a challenge because we had a giant block of rock in the basement with a T-Rex skull in it. I'm Michael Holland, and I am the designated T-Rex Wrangler. I've been brought in to help to get this dinosaur out of the rock and bring it into the Newburgh as an exhibit feature. It started out down in the basement, so we drove it into the elevator with a lot of heaving and shoving and grunting and sweating. <laughs> and then uh, from there, we got a bunch of people behind it again and pushed and shoved all around until we could work our way down the hall and, and get into this room. So we hooked up to the chain hoists and Ron ran one of the hoists and I ran the other one and we just put the lift on it and kept going until we were high enough off the ground and once we had enough elevation then since the rack is on wheels we could just bring the rack to the dinosaur and just slide it right underneath it into position. It's pretty much engineered to be able to hold up something huge like this. It, it's sort of a a case study, I think, in sort of how paleontology often works, which is, oh, we need a this, and whatever the this is, it's not an off-the-shelf thing that you just run out and buy, and sometimes you have to make stuff up. It's really a neat opportunity because we literally just opened up the field jacket, uh, and when people come in here, they're going to see a big hunk of rock with bones in it um, that will gradually be emerging as our preparators keep working away uh, to remove the matrix. And so I think that's a fantastic opportunity for people just because usually you might not get in on the ground floor on a process like this. Quite a ways to go yet from this point, but I think it's going to be well worth the effort.